ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to All or Nothing Games. This is Aeon with episode 5 of our My Player series. So for now, sit back, relax, and let's continue Wayne Bow's journey to become an international sporting superstar. Full transparency, ladies and gents. I played, just played four games with commentary and everything like that without my microphone plugged in. So I'm raging, but we'll not let that affect and we'll get back into it now. So we've got two away games scheduled for this episode. It's going to be tough. Away game against Middlesbrough and, away, and an away game against Aston Villa. Two hard places to go, Villa Park and the Riverside. In between last episodes, um, I had played a couple of games. So let's just take a look at those results. It was Wigan nil, Derby nil. Boring game, nothing to write home about. And then a second half goal gave Wigan the 1-0 victory against Ipswich Town. So there's our next match, Middlesbrough at the Riverside. Let's get on to it. Middlesbrough in 15th position in the league right now. So not doing as well as they would hope, but it will be a tough team nonetheless in Middlesbrough. Let's see what's happening. Right, a very a much changed team over the for the last few weeks for Wigan. They've had a, a settled team that's been doing well. And Paul Cook's decided to blow that team up with Will Grigg coming in at front. Gibson, attacking midfielder. Then we've got Atkins, Campbell changing the goalkeeper. Naylor in at centre back. Very interesting here. Well, hopefully, this will not affect the Wigan's performance too much. We shall find out. Welcome everyone to the Riverside in this evening match Middlesbrough versus Wigan. Baker to Shotton. The game is underway. Besic out on the right. Well, Greg plays it out here. A ball over the top. Oh, he's, ro he's robbed by Daniel Ayala. Cam defending there. More experienced player there telling. Oh, it's a lovely flick to Greg. What can Greg do? Can he give him the return ball? No, he can't. And just dead. Gets the ball taken off him in midfield. But he's won it back. He's done a good job. Now here we go. Wayne Bow. He's going to have a goal. Oh! Just wide of the right hand post there. Snapshot. There's only one thing in his mind when he got turned there. He rifled a shot. And that was not far away. Goalkeeper was scrambling. Intercepted by Wayne Bowie, holds off Clayton, he's gone for a drive. Drive and run here, drive and run in. Can he get that ball across? Clayton blocks it and it's out for a corner to Wigan. No, for some reason that's not a corner. Are you serious, referee? Absolutely ridiculous. Nonsense. Shocking standard of referee in there. Rainbow's got his, got his hackles up now after that bad decision by the ref and the linesman. He's hunting that ball. He wants to take this game by the scruff of the neck. Oh, and it's in! Rainbow stick a foot in there! That was trundling along the line. All it needed was a foot in, but no one from the Wigan team could get there. And there it is, half time, nil nil. A lot of possession by Millsborough. But all the attacking, all the serious attacking has been done by this Wigan side. Here it is, 61% possession. Wigan have not had a lot of the ball, but they have managed two shots with one on target. A bit more possession, and it could be very telling for Wigan in the second half. So here we are, second half underway, 0-0 at the Riverside. This new look team that Paul Cook has chosen. And that is out for a Wigan throw. And here is Darren Bent. 
This is more like it. Paul Cook has seen enough. Will Gregg has not offered much. Can the fabled partnership of Vent and Bolt strike gold again this time? Clean goes up by Allah heads clear. Out to Clayton at the edge of the box. Plays it back to Baker. Wayne Bowe's stolen it. And it's Darren Bent. Shoots just wide. Lovely communication there between Bent and Bowe. The run continued by Bowe to take the defender away. But Bent was unable to get the shot on target. That's a lovely ball down the wing. Akpan plays that ball in. Oh, Wayne Bowe goes for the strong shot. Whoa, Ayala had to get rid of that in a hurry. Wayne Bowe was charging in on him there. Eight minutes to play plus stoppage time. Johnson's come in for Downing. Inbo collects it well and midfield gets the return pass. But he was giving it back to him and he had no question of wanting that back. Sombolonga's got some space here in the wing. Great save by the keeper. The ball's played out to Johnson. This could be a last chance for Middlesbrough. Got to stand tall now, Wigan. Make the defence work. Oh, the header was up, but he was unable to get it on target. Just stead, flashes it wide. That could have been the win. But it ends nil-nil here at the Riverside. Better possession, still not the possession they're looking for. And the shots on target, really telling for both teams. One shot apiece, and that's why it ended nil-nil. It was a strange team chosen by Paul Cook. Wayne Bowe gets man of the match. Quiet match, but we'll take it. Okay, that last match, the point. Moves Wigan up into fourth place. Still a big gap between Derby County there. But we'll take the point away from home. Wayne Bowe has moved on in his overall rating up to 72. Playing well, getting good average ratings. Playing well, getting man of the match. And it's shown in his statistics as they are improving. In between these games, let's just take a quick look at Wayne's training. Before that, though, we'll see that Wayne Bow has become only the second player under the age of 18 to get two Team of the Months in, this, in the Skybet Championship. And there he is in centre midfield, along with Murphy on the left wing from Wigan. Great progress by the young man. Set in this legal light. So, before we look at training, are we in the squad for Aston Villa? We better be. Starting lineup again. So, quick look at Wayne Bow's training. We're going to take one off speed. He's got a good burst of pace. He can get past players. I'm going to take one off. Physical, very strong guy, but what we want to do, do something a little bit different. We're going to go for fighting spirit. Enables players to perform better under pressure and fatigue as well as adversity. In the Skybet Championship, playing for Wigan, he's going to come up against a lot of adversity. So we're going to try and train him up in this skill. We'll pump two points into that. Hopefully our progress will be good and quick and swift and we'll get that skill going. Alright, all that being done, on to a tough game away in Birmingham at Villa Park. Darren Bent comes back in. Miller and Bow. That's a much more... A team very similar to the teams in the past that have been playing very well for Wigan. Teams that have been winning games. So he's gone. For, he's going right out for the win on this one. Is Paul Cook? So let's see how we do. Sun is shining here at Villa Park. Lovely day for football. The pitch looks tremendous for the visit of Wigan Athletic here. Wigan in fourth position in the league. Hard to beat team at home and away, but. This is a very solid Aston Villa team. The old man John Terry at the back there. Ooh, that was close. Wayne Bowe was lurking. 
He had knacked very strong in the midfield, was able to hold off the challenge of Wayne Bow there. Kodjia is running, he's got he's on a dribble. Wayne Bow gets back to help out his defence. Right, Darren Bent's on a run here. He's got to wait for the support, and here it comes by Wayne Bow. Can he get that ball through? He can. Can Wayne Bow finish? He can! Slots it in. Left of the right of the goalkeeper. Fantastic goal. And that's 1-0 to Wigan Athletic. The Bow and Bent partnership strikes back. Bent with some very strong, very ten, very tenacious play there. Gets that ball through and Bow slams it home. Rainbow skips away from his man, pokes that ball through. Here's Bent. Oh, great shot, but it's saved by the goalkeeper. Lovely interplay in the midfield there by Wigan, and it results in a nice shot by Bent and a great save by the keeper. Grealish cuts back in, puts the ball in for El Mohamedy, and that is a great save and well defended. And that is half time. Wayne Bow's goal in the 26th minute separates the two sides. It's Wigan 1, Aston Villa 0. Dominating possession, Aston Villa. But it's the shots that count, and only one has scored. That's Wayne Bow's. The game's underway into the second half. This would be a really telling victory for this Wigan side if they can come to Aston Villa and get an away victory here. Hurahan to Yedinak. Kukodja, who plays the ball over the top to Lansbury, volleys it! Wide of the left-hand post. Campbell is mad at his defence. They let that, they let the ball get played in way too easily by Kodja. Could have taken a touch there, but he didn't. Wigan playing with Composure and confidence here. That 1-0 lead. John Terry comes in from behind. He started that tackle very early. It's a sore one for Wayne Bow and it's a yellow card for Terry, the old veteran. 15 minutes to play here at Villa Park. Pressure's mounting on the home team who are 1-0 down currently. It's a good ball out to El, El Mohamedy if he can get to that. There's two in the middle. He cuts back in. Wayne Bow, brilliant header there, had to head that out. Tracking back, helping out his teammates. And it's flashed in. And it's well cleared by the Wigan defence. Wayne Bow's going to take this one. Very mature play by the young lad, he's got it back. Ball into Ben. He's got the header on target. That's a great save by the goalkeeper. That could have sealed it. But no need to worry. It's 1-0 Wigan here at full time. It's a great victory for the away team. Possession's going to be all Aston Villa. More shots and shots on target for Wigan. And they've come away with a deserved 1-0 win. Wayne Bowe, second man of the match on the trot. Two, two people up front, Bo and Bent, the two Bs, two sevens. What more could you ask for in a striking partnership? Thanks for watching this episode of Wayne Bow International Sporting Superstar. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep your eyes peeled for the upcoming episode and we'll see you next time. Peace.